Greetings, brothers and sisters. So this is MK MKUltra movie trailer 2022. Um, I don't know when the movie's going to be released. I just started watching it, part of it. But Jason Patrick, who I thought retired from Hollywood, is in it. Um, and it looks like a real thing. And so I should say first, I've been saying in my other video, I've been making a Journey, Journey series video, and I talked a lot, a lot of voiceover stuff. So I'm going to try to make this one, uh, this video, pretty short. And, you know, I'll get to more stuff tomorrow. But let's start here. Are you a member or have ties to extremist groups or organization? No. Do you? And so, um, you know, this looks like a documentary of the MK Ultra program starting in Mississippi here. Use drugs or alcohol? Yes. Do you trust Agent Moore? <laughs> Some dilapidated building. <laughs> Are you ready to begin? I'm going to find your research, Doctor. Push the boundaries of science, the full support of the government. Um, so this is happening. They're making a real MK Ultra movie. It's enough to drug the whole state. Funding. That's what you always wanted. Yeah. Figure out what to make of them. Inspired by true events. So they've done American Ultra. I mean, this is something they've flirted with in Hollywood. You know, I was just, um, I turned on the news, maybe it was last night, night before, and Chris, whatever is Hayes, was going on after conspiracy theorists and all these dangerous conspiracy theories that were hurting some children's hospital or something or other. Trump tweeted something. But, you know, when you have a government that engages in mind control, and then it comes out, it's public for a while, and it was a time where, you know, people were better, more moral. I mean, people were better then. Whether you want to uh, agree with that or not, they were. <laughs> you know, there's a breakdown in morality and ethics and everything else. I mean, people are a lot worse now. And so if the government was willing to do this, among many other atrocities, I mean, the, gover the government condoned slavery and is condoned the right word. They allowed supported slavery. They allowed the support of the genocide of the native peoples. And then all these other things that they did, atrocities, war after war, all these things that did experimentation on animals and people and chemical production. And I mean, all kinds of evil stuff was done, military industrial complex. And so all bets are off, right? You can't say the crazy conspiracy theorists when a government does mind control programs, right? The CIA supported Young Psychiatrist oh, yeah. experiment. Shelley Powers, arsonist. <laughs> it's Laura. Why were you arrested? You think I'm sick? <laughs> Politics and science make the worst of friends. I mean, it looks creepy as F. They're not making it look good. I had some questions about It's like a horror movie. My research is being taken. I don't like questions. Has, has mind control been achieved? What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> I think they're just going to go there, right? <laughs> we turn our eyes away for even a moment. Filth will overcome us. See, these are truth or inspired um, conspiracy theorists inspired movies. Like they did that movie called Conspiracy Theory with Mel Gibson, which is loaded with stuff. And then all these other movies like this. And then they deny it, right? They say that you're crazy if you believe in these things. But then they make movies and write books and things about it. And, you know, the government admitted to doing this. Like this is, some, this is their term. There's a movie called The Good Shepherd that is about the CIA, the skull and bones creating the CIA at Yale. You know, the CIA and the Yale have deep ties. A lot of CIA employees come from Yale. And so if there's anything secret and 
CIA like about Yale, it's the skull and bones, right? And so they do these types of movies documenting the truth, and then they deny it. The government and the media denies it. It's just, you know, it's bizarre. Pope Francis instructs Vatican entities to move all funds. Pope imposes deadline for Vatican to transfer assets to the Vatican Bank only. He wants all the money that's in other banks to go to the Vatican Bank, the Vatican Bank, because he's probably worried that the other banks are going to collapse with Pope money in it, right? He wants all his Pope money back. We'll cover this more. I'll leave this up here. We'll cover it more maybe tomorrow or the next day. Charles gets heckled here. Charlie boy. <laughs> While we struggle to heat our homes, we have to pay for your parade. I mean, boom. Chucky didn't like that. Hundred million for what, right? Plus he doesn't have to pay tax, inheritance tax, and he's just a parasite. No skills, doesn't help with the country, doesn't do anything. Um, you know, there is growing animosity there. The shrinking realm, Queen Elizabeth's Commonwealth and the future of its nations, and this article gets into how it appears that a lot of these countries are going to bail, and it says here... Um, that often, you know, these countries wanted to leave before. And she was able to pull him back in. And Chucky Boy just doesn't have it in him. You know, this sad sack right here, this sad sack of an effort. Too much mourning. Some Britons are angry over cancellations due to Queen's funeral. When I was called and told all appointments that day are canceled, I got off the phone and cried. Dan O'Brien, who's eight months pregnant, told NBC. This is an ongoing problem there. There are all the people out there that are, um, who love the royal family, but then there's the rest of them. It's more people. This person has, um, diabetes, diabetes, and is pregnant and needs to see a doctor. So, you know, but the queen, she died. More important, tough luck embryo. So one more thing I want to say about the royal family. I'm going to keep this brief, um, that the, the English kingdom, the European kingdoms, but particularly the British kingdom, which they used to say that the sun never set on the British Empire because they were all over the world in every time zone. And so if you think about the modern day civilization and system and what it was the Greeks and Romans and the various you know, power brokers, various countries that had power all over the globe, and then now America, which came from Britain, and the queen and the king and all the monarchy there, that this is the end of their era, right? The collapse of the system is the end of their era, the collapsing British Empire. I mean, there was some reference in one of Babaji's, the second master of the heartfulness system, that at some point, an island, which everyone kind of assumed was Great Britain, was going to fall into the ocean through volcanic activity. didn't give a time frame. And I don't think anybody thought about it. I certainly didn't. That when she died, because I think most people just wanted her to die in the truth community because of all the evils that we know about. But Prince Charles, King Charles' is Chucky is just not up to the task in terms of he doesn't have anything going his way. Like, everything's lining up against him, and he sucks. He's not, I mean, he's completely unlikable. And then there's all these factors, the Diana factor, his mom, all these things. The wrong time, the wrong guy. And so with him and the country and the, the whole empire, you know, all these countries leaving and going elsewhere, and the British Empire contracting, well, you say, all right, well, it's still not a, I mean, British Empire lost power a long time ago, but America's slipping as well. And this, you know, this period of time where English is the language of business and sort of a dominant presence, the, the English language and all of it across the globe, and then all of a sudden that's no longer there, right? I mean, people talk about a loss of privilege, but it's going to hit everybody in America regardless of your race or sex or anything else. When it collapses, it's going to 
affect everybody in the world, and certainly in America and Europe and things particularly. But I don't think anybody thought about, you know, most people, maybe some people in England, but most people didn't care or didn't think about it, what a King Chucky administration was going to look like. It doesn't look great, right? It's very clearly, uh, you know, it's it's a bad time because it's hard for people to get on board with this celebration when they're freaked out about their own financial issues. And so, um, you know, it's going to go south quickly. Anyways, like I said, I want to keep this short. Only spirituality will save this world. It's Paramano, definitely pointing from the apocalypse and the ascension. Everyone have a blessed day and be grateful.